Hi everyone, it's Sharon from iRestore Stuff and we're about to work on a study desk here in the workshop today. And this is for a client who's a uni student and she wants her desk changed from this shabby cream looking state, which I've already sanded back, you know, ready to go. And we're gonna see it colored in sterling from Fusion Mineral Paint Line. And so it's a beautiful silvery, soft gray color. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this turns out like. Okay, here I am back again with an update on the study desk and we've been painting in sterling from Fusion Mineral Paint and it's going on just beautifully, so smooth. So I've done the front of the desk. Here I am sitting on the floor in my um, workshop, painting away. I haven't got to the top yet. Look forward to that bit. But I've been painting the detail in the legs and it's looking shiny now, but it dries to a really nice matte finish. Um, pretty similar to what the finish was originally on this creamy looking finish. Now here, here's what it looks like originally it had some distressing on top of the cream so we're going to decide after we've painted it after we've had a good look at it to see if we want to distress the silver um, no we should call it sterling distress this gray color as well so um, we'll be back with more in just a minute so i'm working on the top now i just thought i'd do some painting while i'm videoing if i can do that with one hand but you can see how lovely and smooth fusion mineral paint goes on really smoothly and it's got really good coverage um, but I will do definitely do two coats um, just for extra protection and you know it does need more of a solid coverage than just this one I'm finding as it dries I'll just see if I can show you as it's drying I can see some still some little um, places where there was coffee marks that I'd sanded back and it's not the oil or anything that's coming through on there um, it's just a little bit of the grooves and a bit of the darkness in some little patches so I think with the second coat that's going to come up great okay so I'm hanging my apron up for the day and we've got the drawers finished drying the light is going down so we're not getting a very good view of the table here but the study desk is done one coat and so tomorrow we'll finish off with another coat and this is going really really well so drawers are drying see you tomorrow well good morning everyone I'm back and we're here painting the study desk so this is day two I've let this dry overnight with one coat and I've just started on the second coat I've done the front of the desk and I'm working on the back. I just wanted to show you the difference in color of, there's the fresh paint that I'm putting on the second coat now. So it does dry a little bit darker than when you first apply it and put it on wet. It's just a deeper tone. And this color we're working with is Fusion's Sterling. Uh, someone asked yesterday on one of my Facebook video updates, do you ever use primers um, with using fusion mineral paint and the answer is sometimes but no not usually you really don't need a primer I didn't use one on this I just gave it a rough sand and worked it through but some of the good products you can use for high glossy surfaces like glass or metal there's a great product here called fusion ultra grip and I use that sometimes for um, if it's a really glossy surface and I really want it to stick well I'm not going to distress it or anything like that I'll add some fusion ultra grip so you just paint this on it dries clear and then you go over as normal painting your piece. The other thing that you can sometimes use um, is color blocker, which is a cheaper version of the fusion mineral paint. It's, they just use their leftover um, colors and it is like a bit of a grayish tone, but it's a great thing for um, to prevent things like bleed through. You know, when you get one of those pieces that's really a red, um, tints in the stain or there's some kind of pigment that bleeds through the white surface so if you or the other reason I would use color blocker is if I just want to use a bit of an undercoat for a really dark piece that I'm wanting to paint white um, I'll go with this color blocker first and then start painting white and um, you're using less of your white paint and more of the cheaper it's sort of like a primer I suppose so uh, that's all for now and I'll update you soon and I just want to show you the drawers and the knobs so I've just checked in with my client about the drawer knobs that these are the original knobs that were on the drawer 
and I just asked her if she wanted to change it up a bit and put some kind of a metallic color on the doorknobs. So she's picked this Fusion tinting kit on, in the copper color. And so I've just put a little bit in this little dish right here. And just with an ordinary craft brush, just been painting the draw knobs. So I've got this one here on my trusty little peg. <laughs> um, actually, the bolts underneath are really great for painting. So you can just turn it, spin it, and then I've just created a special little thing to hold them up. So that's one coat. I'll put another coat on and that should look really nice. Stand out on the drawers.